I really want to take a break from Los Angeles acting, pursuing acting. I really want to take a break because being home and losing a family member, it's just really, really hard. It's just really hard to like go back out there and like hustle and like force it and it just feels like because it's like before I came to before I came back to New Jersey <clears throat> you know I've just been an emotional not an emotional wreck but this has just been a very emotional year and it's like, before coming back to New Jersey, like, I was super frustrated. I was, like, frustrated with where I was living and, like, having, like, insect issues. And it's just too much. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, just too much. And it's, like, and then part of me thinks about you guys and how it's, like, you know, my journey to Los Angeles definitely has inspired many people, but... You know, it's like, I got to think about me. And it's like, everyone that I talk to, they're like, no, stick it out, stick it out. You don't know, you don't know. And I'm just like, no, y'all don't know what my everyday life is like. Like, yes, I have booked work as an actor. Yes, I've been really blessed to be able to do really cool things. But that's not every day. And I honestly don't know if I will be 100% happy until that becomes my everyday life. And I feel like I've had this kind of attitude where I can have moments of happiness, I can have a good day, I can have a good evening, um, I can enjoy what I'm doing throughout the day, but like, I just feel very unfulfilled. Like if I could do YouTube on television for a living, that's it, that's what I would that's what I desire to do. That's what I want to do. But I just feel I want to take a break. I want to take a break. I want to come back home and I want to like reset because I just feel like from the beginning, Los Angeles has been really hard and I feel like it didn't have to be. And I feel like, you know, God wants life to be easy for us. And yes, people struggle, but is the, is it necessary? You know what I'm saying? Like you guys don't see the day to day at all and you know my family doesn't see the day today so you know no like I can talk about it all the time I can talk about you know what's troubling me what's going on and it just feels like it's just not worth it and I just feel like I cannot go back to LA just like in the same way like if I go back to Los Angeles I need to go back to Los Angeles in love and I just, what I want to do is like, I just want to come home and I want to spend like three months at home, but I don't want to feel like I'm giving up because I'm not, because it's like, that's my destiny. You know, like there's no question about that. Like, it's just when I think back to when I first went to Los Angeles, you know, it's like I didn't go... I wasn't meditating, I wasn't praying like that. I was like, you know what, fuck this. I don't wanna work in corporate, like I hate this. And I was like, all right. I had a friend that lived in LA and I was like, all right, like, what's good? Like, you know, and he was just like, yeah, you know, come out, come out. So then I went out and it's just been a mess ever since. And again, my everyday life, like, Again, yes, I have booked work, but my everyday life shouldn't feel this shitty. My everyday life shouldn't feel this sucky. My everyday life should not feel... It shouldn't feel this way. And there's just like, it's the people that I've met that I thought were friends and thought were cool people and just weren't and I there's just so many things in hindsight that I look at and I'm just like so many things I think that could have been avoided and it's just like what keeps coming up for me is that life is 
you know, meant to be easy. Like, then why am I forcing it? I just feel really, really emotional and just trying to figure out, like, what am I doing? I love the work that I put out in the world. I love the work that I do on YouTube and Instagram. I love who I am and who I've become. I love where my life, what I can see in my mind. I love inspiring and motivating people. I do, I love so many things about life and about my life and there's just so many things I love. So it's just like, why, why? And I can't help it, I can't, I can help it. I just go back and I look back at like, the day, bef the week before, like two weeks before I booked, two weeks before I was gonna go to Los Angeles, out of nowhere I got this terrible, terrible toothache. And now I keep telling you guys like, when I was 24, 2014, I did not pray, I did not meditate on it, I just went. And I don't know, like, I feel like it just wasn't the right way. It just wasn't the right way. And it's like, yes, you know, I like, there's just so much that can't be explained in a video or in a phone conversation. There's just so much that cannot be explained. There's just so much that I just want to start over. I just want to start over. I want to have a clean slate. I want to go away and come back renewed, refreshed, in love, and with a new, with a newer focus. I think. Well, my focus moving to LA was to have an acting career and to change my life. And you know, those things are happening, but. I don't know. I just feel like if I just go away, I mean, if I just leave Los Angeles for like two, three months and then come back, I just don't want to feel like I'm quitting, which I know I'm not because I'm going to go back. It just feels like part of me just feels like, okay, no, like go further. Just keep going, keep going keep making it through and then a p other part of me just feels like I just feel like so many things have just been happening that has led up to this point where I just feel like I am going to break I feel like I'm just going to I don't know I don't know the things I've experienced in Los Angeles I've never experienced them at home or overseas I don't know what it is and I can't put my finger on it at all. I cannot put my finger on it. And it's not about what other people say. It's not about what anybody says. So even if everyone around me is saying, keep going, keep going, keep going, they can say that from the comfort of their homes. They can say that from the comfort of their jobs. They can say that from the comfort of their, you know, where they're at. They don't know, you know, and it's like, you know, do you take the advice of like, or do you follow what your soul wants? I really just like, it's not that I don't know what to do. I wonder if I'm scared to do what I want to do. I wonder if I'm scared to do what I want to do. And it's like, I want to be... I'm always going to be who I am. So I'm always going to be a vessel through which spirit and the divine uses to reach you guys always, you know. But I have to remember myself, you know, through this journey, through being a vessel, through being somebody that is being used by God. I still have to, you know, just think about, you know, myself and what is best for me and my mentality and my spirit, you know. I know that like my channel is all about light, love, laughter, and God and motivating. I know that. But sometimes 
this is what it is like. This is what it feels like sometimes. Like, I don't know. This is just what it is. It feels like sometimes. All year, I've just felt like I just wanted to let it go. All year. All year, I just felt like I wanted to just let it go. I just wanted to come home. I think, like, all day, I've just been crying. Crying for family. Crying for, like myself crying for this really awful person and people that I've just like my last job man like I think I'm just crying for myself I don't think I gave myself a chance to really like cry over the treatment that I received and that I allowed to receive that I allowed myself to go through And I'm not going to sit here and say I don't have good days or good moments, whatever. Like I'm talking about right now, I'm just not there. I'm just not in a good space. I'm just not. So this video is more like, I don't even know. Well, I guess this video is more like, okay. Yeah, Am I, should I leave LA for a little bit? This video is showing you guys that it's not always pretty and positive. It's not, it's not always pretty and positive. I spend more days feeling like this, looking like this, than say my previous video, you know, like, And I know it's like, so many comments might be like, keep going, you're motivating, you're inspiring, blah, 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 blah. That doesn't make it less hard. It just lets me know that I know I'm on the right path. I know I'm who I'm supposed to be, but I gotta listen. I gotta listen to my soul. I gotta follow the signs. So, you know, guys, thank you for tuning into this video. It's really just allowing me to talk about how I'm actually feeling and what I'm really feeling. And, you know, sometimes I want to do that. Of course, I'm always going to be here. I'm always going to be me being used as a vessel, but sometimes... It's important to see the other side of the journey. Yeah. The lighting is changing. So thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next video.